here's a Mercedes-Benz 220S and I'm doing a field rescue on this car, 1959. It's really dry, that's what I like about it. There's no rusty rockers. The outriggers look good. Look up under there. That is straight and nice as it can be. And uh, there's extra dash pieces, interior trim, windshield's not broken. And I'm using uh, my brand new Badland ZXR 12000. And it just pulled it up here like it, you know, was nothing. It uh, seems to be a pretty good winch. So, <clears throat> been sitting out in a field in Santa Fe, New Mexico for, God, it's probably going on 25 years. Good thing about New Mexico cars, they'll park out in the desert for 25 years and the brakes aren't locked up. <laughs> It just rolled right up. I really like the body style of the 220. I don't know if it's a uh, runner yet or not. The guy I got it from said uh, he drove it, drove it there to where it was parked. So the engine looks, it's all intact. Somebody took the hydraulic system apart. And, of course, the guy was going to restore it. You know how that goes. Starts disassembling everything. And it's a sweet light there. But, you know, it's just not in that bad of shape. I've got the headlamps. In the trunk. Nice, solid floors it's got the bumpers Ooh, shit look at that radio what the hell is that oh man that radio is as much is worth more than the car like the little handrails look at those those darling <laughs> New Mexico cars, you open up all the doors, of course, all the upholstery is rotted away, but your metal is nice. Try and get all the critters out of it. Come on, boys. Time to go. Stay in your field. I don't want you. Get out of here. Get! You're being evicted. Little bastards. Little squirrels and mice. Well, there you have it. Here's the other car that'll be pulling out of this field. I don't know. Uh, probably the components with this car would be valuable. I don't know that the car itself is. But everything's dry. Again, no rust. It's a 280. So, and I think it's a 70, 74. And uh, got a skeleton laying there. And the poor guy didn't make it. came from a from a uh, movie guy's property he uh, passed away and so this is some of the stuff that he had out here 
I don't know if this car was ever involved in a movie, but... What does that say there? Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll take it to the car wash, get it cleaned up. And then there's the uh, the other field rescue. This is a ex-taxi cab. It's a checker. I think it's a 68, but hell, you never know with these checkers. They all look the same. Got a little damage to the front end there. Nothing too bad. But it's also a nice dry car as far as I know. Dial a cab, there you go. Yeah, man, this is nice. Look at that. Shit, yeah, nice little checker. Oh, man, Stuart Warner gauges. And where would you like to go? Hop in. This one's got a little Bondo on it. But it's not too bad. You know? It's got all the parts on it. And this is another one that was said to run when it was parked. It's got the GM uh, six-cylinder commercial engine in it, which I just love that stuff. Those GM six-cylinders will go forever. I'm trying to get that little trailer. I don't know if I'll be successful or not. Well, there it is. Wish me luck, because I will need it. Heading back to Albuquerque. Saddlebags all filled with beans and jerky. TV land for you and me. Case circle be in Albuquerque.